you just got clickbaited. This problem was not on the 2025 TMUA, so sorry, you just got clickbaited. But if you are doing the 2025 TMUA, which is probably why you clicked on this video, you probably do want to know this trick. f of x equals zero has 10 real solutions and f of x plus six equals f of minus x plus six for all x. What is the sum of the 10 solutions to f of x equals zero? This question actually comes from one of my TMUA masterclass problems, uh, problem sets. So I ran this for students who are taking the TMUA this time around. So let me know in the comments, would you like me to run it again for students who are taking it in January? I'll be curious to know. Anyway, let's have a go at this problem. So what's the trick to this? Well, it's to notice this equation here. This equation tells us that this graph has symmetry. Why is that? Well, I'm going to write down a, a claim and then I'm going to prove this claim. So y equals g of x has a line of symmetry at x equals alpha or line of symmetry x equals alpha, where alpha is a constant, if and only if f of x plus alpha, or sorry, g of x plus alpha, is the same as g of x minus alpha, so g of alpha minus x for all real numbers x. Now, why is this? Well, let's just draw a graph. Let's look at where alpha is, like so. So let's say that this is the line x equals alpha. So why do I want g of x plus alpha to equal g of alpha minus x? Well, if I have, let's just use a different letter instead of x, let's say t. If I pick this number here, which is alpha plus t, and I want my graph to have, let's say the graph passes through that point there. If I want it to have symmetry around this line, x equals alpha, this kind of corresponding point over here, the graph better pass through there, which is alpha minus t. And so similarly, if I pick a point over here and it goes through the graph there to have symmetry, it must look like this. So whatever my graph looks like here, In order for there to be symmetry on this side, it must look something like that. I'll try my best to, those two are supposed to be symmetric. But the idea is on my symmetric graph, when x is alpha plus t, the y value is the exact same. It's in line with the y value when x is alpha minus t. And that's where this equation comes from. Okay, great. So we're told that this uh, function f of x equals zero has 10 real solutions. And because of what we've just investigated, it has symmetry in the line x equals 6. So let me draw that on here. So this is going to be the line 6. And we told it has 10 solutions. Well, because it has symmetry around x equals 6, half of them must be before um, 6. So 1, 2, 3, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's say it looks like that. And then we have symmetry. 1, 2, 3. I've lost count. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five. It looks something like that. It doesn't. It looks kind of like a sine curve. It's not supposed to be. But the the crucial part is it has symmetry around this point. And so therefore, these two roots here, those are equidistant from six. So if this one was six minus, oops, sorry, six minus some number delta, then this one here would have to be six plus delta. The beautiful part about this is I don't need to know what delta is because the question asks us the sum of these ten solutions. So six minus delta plus six plus delta. It's just going to equal 12. So those two numbers there add up to 12. Similarly, this number and this, this root and this root will add up to 12. So will these two, so will these two, and so will these two. And so therefore, each pair of roots adds up to 12. And since we have five pairs, the sum of the roots will be 60. And that there solves this problem. If you want to see more tricks like this and learn how to solve problems confidently, especially when going into exams like the MAT, TMUA, but also, more importantly, the Oxbridge interviews, do join my office hours program. This is a chance for you to ask any questions towards me and my team of Oxbridge students, uh, any questions, and also get insight and learn how we solve these sorts of problems. Anyway, I'll leave that there for that. For that, for that, for that can't speak. I'll leave that there for today. I'll leave another video on screen where I solve another TMUA or MAT style problem.